If you've got a TV error on your roof, then one day it's going to cause a leak. So why do TV aerials cause roof leaks? Now there are two types of TV aerials that are mounted on roofs. One where the base plate is resting on the ridge and the pole doesn't actually go through the roof, which kind of makes sense. But you still have three guy wires that hold the pole up because otherwise it falls over. And those guy wires have to be anchored through your roof onto the rafters. So what the TV aerial guys do is they drill a hole through the tile, put an anchor in, and they attach the guy wires to the anchors. And then they put a little bit of silicon around the base of the anchor, and she she's good for a while. The problem is that the guy wires put a lot of uneven pressure on the anchors. And because of this, the anchors tend to move a little bit. And with continuous movement, the sealant that's applied to the base of the anchor would start to tear. And then it'll leak. So if you've got a TV aerial that's held up by guy wires, you have to have a look at the anchors on a regular basis and just make sure that the ceiling's intact and it's not cracked. Because over time, it will deteriorate and you'll have water that runs around the anchor, through the tile and into your ceiling. Now, if it, you do have a leak, what you need to do is take the old sealant out and you'll find that it's fairly easy to do because the, the installers wouldn't have put a lot of sealant around the anchor. You've got to take all the sealant out and apply fresh sealant. But the important thing is you've got to push the sealant through the gap around the anchor as far as possible so that the hole has got silicon all the way around which means that even with the movement of the anchor you got a lot more silicon that will help seal the anchor through the tile now the other type of tv aerial is the one where the pole actually goes through the roof so if you've got a tile roof they put a hole in the tiles and then push the pole through the hole into the ceiling cavity and then the pole is then anchored to the roof truss. Obviously you've got to put a flashing around the base of this pole so it doesn't leak around the hole. I guess the advantage on this is that you've got no guy wires and you haven't got the potential maintenance problem of making sure that the anchors at the, the guy wires aren't leaking. If the flashing around the base of this type of TV aerial is done correctly, then chances are you will have a maintenance free TV aerial. But things can always go wrong. Even with this style of TV aerial, there is one weak point that we've missed on many occasions. And it's because the pole goes through the roof so if you look at the top of the pole, it's just a pipe and it's got a, an open end that's blanked by a plastic cap. And when the plastic cap starts to deteriorate and cracks, water goes in through the cracks, dribbles through the middle of the pipe and then goes into your ceiling cavity. So even this style of TV aerial is not maintenance free. So you need to, on a regular basis, make sure that the cap is intact and that the flashing around the base of the aerial is still okay. And uh, then you don't have any leaks with this style of TV aerial. So which TV aerial is better? It doesn't really matter. They both have their pros and cons and the main thing is you need to be aware of where the water can come in and have a regular maintenance schedule where you get someone to go up check the seals check the cap 
and then make sure that everything's okay. Otherwise, you will get a leak through your TV aerial.